My mom and dad say we are all different and that makes us beautiful. We were all from different cultures and believe in different religions. It would be boring if we all look alike, think alike, or talk alike. Every day at my school, I see everyone around me is different and special. We all have different color skins and we are all different shapes and sizes. But we are all kids and we are all growing each day. Some of us have short hair and some of us have long hair. Some of us have straight hair and some of us have curly hair. Some do not cut hair and wear a pathka, or a turban for their faith and religion. Some wear a kippah, or scarf also. We all have different shapes of eyes. Some of us wear glasses and some of us don't. But we all see beautiful things around us. Some of us use our feet to walk, and, some of us use wheelchair. Others even use guide dogs to help them. But we all get around to different places. We may speak another language or communicate differently. But we all learn to express our feeling and learn to understand each other. All of us see different kinds of foods. But we all like to eat. Some of us like basketball and some of us like football. Some of us like golf and some of us like soccer. We may even dance to different songs. But all of us like to have fun after all. As you can see we are all different and special in many ways. So next time you see someone different, it is important to respect and treat everyone the same way. After all, being different is beautiful and we can learn a lot from each other every day. Being different is beautiful, isn't it? Here's an important piece of scripture from the book called James. It's in the New Testament. So listen to this. Children, you're believers in Jesus. So never think that some people are more important than others. Imagine if someone comes into your church wearing very nice clothes and a gold ring. At the same time, another person comes in wearing old, dirty clothes. You show special attention to the one wearing nice clothes. You say, oh, please sit here. It's a good seat. But you say to the poor person, stand over there or sit on the floor by my feet. What are you doing? You're making some people more important than others. You're deciding which person is better. One rule that Jesus gave us is more important than all others. And this is what he taught. Love your neighbors as you love yourself. God's word for you. Children, maybe you've seen this past week marches that have happened I know a few of you have even participated in them. Here's what I'd like you to remember about the reading that Pastor Vicki just read. That we as followers of Jesus should never treat anyone extra special over and above someone else. Instead, Jesus asks us to love everyone and to care about everyone just as Jesus would love them and just as we would want someone to love us. So as you go out this week, remember that Jesus asks you to go and love your neighbor as you would love yourself and to let that love for others shine and shine and shine. Amen. Amen. Communion is a meal that connects all of us together. Just like Jesus loved and cared for all people, 
everyone is invited to this table. So whether you have a light skin or dark skin or maybe have freckles like me, whether you're good at sports or you're good at music, whether you're big or little or old or young, Jesus said that we can come to the table and eat with our friends and have a seat right here at God's table. At this table, we do what Jesus did. We take the bread and we bless it and we break it and we give it to others and we say, take this and eat it. This is the body of Christ. And then we take the cup, and we call this the cup of the new covenant, which means a new promise. It's what Jesus said. This is the cup of the new covenant for you and for many. And he said, as often as you eat the bread and drink from the cup, do it in remembrance of me, which means that as we receive some bread and some juice, we remember Jesus and everything that he taught, including that we should love our neighbors even as we love ourselves. And so children, I invite you and your parents to pause the video now and take the bread and the juice that you have and share with one another the body of Christ. Now that we've shared this meal together, let's end in prayer. I'd like you to repeat after me. Thank you, Jesus, for this meal. Thank you, Jesus, for this meal. Help us to remember you. Help us to remember you. And to treat everyone with love and respect. And to treat everyone with love and respect. Amen. Amen. So now, children and parents, go out and show love for everyone. Use the talents that God gave you to brighten someone's day. And let your light shine always and everywhere. Amen and Alleluia.
I'm gonna let 